start. A lot of developments uh, in the pandemic, some good stuff, actually. But let's get the latest numbers, case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 129.5 million confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. Now here in this country, 553,000 mm. American lives lost to this virus. The CDC reporting we are now on the verge of 100 million Americans receiving at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. Now, Dr. Ashton, a lot of what we're seeing, some of the surges, we think variants are playing a role mm -hmm. in that. And we were trying to always figure out how our immune system uh, would behave with these variants, uh, as well as the vaccines. How would they behave with these variants? So what do we know? Well, there is more encouraging news on the scientific front and the clinical medicine front about those variants and potentially about the vaccine. So take a look at this small study done at the NIAID. They looked at blood samples of people who had recovered from COVID-19, then tested those blood samples to the most common three circulating variants now. And they found good news. They found a really robust, good immune response from both antibodies and T cells that remained intact even in the face of these variants. This does suggest good news for both people who have been naturally infected and also who have been vaccinated. So we've heard before the vaccines may be somewhat less effective against the variants, but bottom line, according to this new data from the NIAID, they still give us some protection. All right, you just mentioned T cells and antibodies and immune response. All right, take us to school here. Uh, there is some difference here. What's the difference? Right. Friday, we go to church and we go to med school. Ah. So <laughs> mini, mini med school on this one is people have gotten a lot of attention uh, focusing on antibodies. Yeah, that's a really important part of our immune system. The other important part, something called T cells. These are the soldiers, the white blood cells um, that help us. Uh, you know, attack viral viral pathogens. So good news that while antibodies may kind of wane at some point against this virus, T cell response remains intact. We love being able to start with some good news, <laughs> some encouraging news. Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. We're going to you see you, Dr. Ashton, plenty throughout the show, as we often do. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.